today to make some beautiful vegan uh, snack bars because um, in New Zealand at the moment, we actually don't have any vegan snack bars, but that's okay, no problem. So um, before I get started, obviously, I'm actually gonna have my herbal aloe. As you know, um, I really am a fan of this. So for anyone who has digestive health issues, which is pretty much a lot of the population, this is fantastic. This is grape flavor today. So I'm gonna pop that in my cup. I'm gonna have some warm water because it is really cold outside. I've got a little bit of a tickly throat, so it's really good to keep that soothing throat. So, uh -huh. I'm just popping that down there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the base. This is gonna have three layers. Okay, it's got a base, a center, and a topping. Okay, it's all gonna be made um, with our vegan shake. Okay, so this is a rice, quinoa, and um, pea protein. Okay, and it actually tastes really delicious. So for the base, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use ground almonds. So now obviously depending on the amount that you're actually gonna be like producing. It'll depend on how much ingredients you use. So I'm gonna put in two, two cups of ground almond into my bowl, okay? Um, two cups, actually, sorry, it's gonna be a bit more than that. It's gonna be three cups of ground almond, okay? Three cups of ground almond. Um, I love ground almond, it's so versatile, and you can use it with for everything. It's just fantastic. So three cups of ground almond. I'm going to put in here a good squeeze of honey. So if you'd like to use treacle or you'd like to use some other sort of maybe uh, like natural sweetener, feel free to do so. I'm also going to add um, about a teaspoon, well, it's actually half a teaspoon of ginger because I love ginger. I actually lo I just love it. Um, it's good for the body. It's also um, really good for the heart, I think, ginger is. Yeah, pretty sure. And I've also got here some cinnamon, ground cinnamon. So again, I'm gonna put in half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Um, and I'm not a, I'm obviously not an anti-meat person, but I'm also not, um, you know, I'm not anti-anything actually. I'm all for, for vegan, vegetarian, and meat eating. I'm open to all of it. The good thing is to have a balance of everything. Okay, so I'll put that in there. Now what I'm gonna add in here is my scoops of, I'm gonna put in, three scoops of Formula One Select Shake. Okay, and this is for the base. One, two, and three, okay? This is gonna make quite a good quantity of product, by the way, guys. Now, what I have here is a really high quality coconut oil, and this is your binding agent. So I'm just gonna pour it in to mix it to consistency. All right, so here I go. And I really kind of want something a bit crumbly um, and I want it to be able to stick together. So you don't want it too wet, but you also don't want it too dry, okay? So I'm just putting that in here now. So I've got around about 100 mil so far. Okay, and I think that's actually gonna work out really well. So between about 100 mils, 150 mils, depending on how much almond, um, ground almond you've got in here. So as you can see, I'll show you my consistency here. It actually, I'm actually have um, clean hands. You can actually squeeze it and, um, and it holds together. Okay, that's what we want. We want it to hold together. And that is gonna go into the fridge. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop that into my dish. Okay, you can have it um, obviously lined. I, I don't. <laughs> but that doesn't necessarily mean I'm always the best at choosing. So you can line that yourself, okay? Um, so I'm just going to put it in here and I knead it in quite nicely because I want it quite compact, all right? So I'm going to compact it in. The great thing with coconut oil, of course, is you've got a bit of warmth on your hands. It actually also melds really nicely. Okay, so as you can see, I've got enough for about three quarters of this dish. Okay, um, here we go. So I'm putting that nice and compacted there now. Okay, so that's going to go into the fridge. And it's going to sit there for about 10 to 15 minutes while we make the topping, the caramelized topping. All right, so let me pop that in and we'll, we'll make that topping together. Okay, hi guys. So I'm over with my blender at the moment and I actually use a Breville blender. Um, and the thing I love about these blenders, they're actually just really tough. And we've had them for, I don't know, 10 years and some of them have done thousands and thousands of shakes. So um, I actually don't even have a food processor. So for this um, process, I would suggest using a food processor. But um, if you've got a Breville blender, use that too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be putting in my nuts. So I've got here um, mixed nuts. I've got uh, walnuts. I've got some um, macadamias in here. 
I've got the Brazil nut. I've got um, some pumpkin seeds, um, almonds. Yep, so get a nice mix. I do not use salted nuts. So I'm gonna put in here, um, it is one, two and a half cups. I've got two and a half cups of nuts. I have um, pre-soaked dates. So I'm putting in one and a half cup of pre-soaked dates. To be honest, I would actually have had two cups, but someone ate, keep eating my dates and also my nuts, so I had to go buy some more. I've got about uh, one small tablespoon of, of um, uh, sunflower seeds. I'm gonna pop that in there, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blend that up, okay? So I'm just gonna give that a bit of a whiz and get that going before I stick the other ingredients in. Okay, so uh, chop it up. You do need to, when you're doing it with a blender, you do need to mix it up a little bit sometimes. Sorry for the arm in your face. <laughs> um, so what we're actually going for is the consistency of a sort of caramelized consistency. And sometimes you do actually need to put a little bit of water in it. We might do that in a minute. Okay, cool. So let me just keep mixing it up a bit. Okay, guys. So what I've got here is my nuts, and they are really nicely blended, and they're very caramelized. Um, to be honest, I um, would really like to use a food processor because it just gets them really chopped up. Now, you don't have to have them chopped up as any, you can just have them quite um, still with a little bit of texture to them. So what I'm gonna do now is they're quite thick. So I'm actually gonna add in um, some coconut oil, around about 100 mils of coconut oil. I'm then gonna grab my personalized protein powder. It's my favorite, as you guys should know if you've been watching me on social media. It's great for the tummy, excellent for extra protein, no carbs no fat so i'm going to put in two scoops okay i'm also going to grab my formula one select shake okay i'm going to put in two scoops into here so the great thing with this is you're actually getting not just you know fats and, and the good stuff from your actual nuts you're actually getting a full meal okay so essentially what i'm making here is actually um it can be used as a meal bar all right, and that's what you want. You don't just want to be snacking. You want to be, uh, let's say, for example, you might want to have this for your lunch instead of having a shake, that you can do that as well. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of water to help it um, mix up. What okay, I'm going, to do, I'm going to mix in a little bit of water. I'm literally just putting about five mils in uh, just to help bind the ingredients. All right, because I want to have it a little bit runnier than the solid mix I've got. Okay, so I'm going to mix that up and together. So five mils at a time, just so you don't over wet it. You do not want an over wet mixture. Okay. Okay. So that's around about seven and a half mils in total. Okay, that's looking good. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna have a taste. Let's have a look. Mmm, that's good. That's really good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do. So I'm now I'm going to put that on top of my, my base that I've been having in the fridge for the last 10 minutes. And it's going to go on top and then we're going to make the actual topping. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. So as you can see now, what I have got is I've got my plate, um, I've got my base, and I've got my topping put on here now as well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make our, um, our actual... Um, like a topping, how how icing, okay? So how I like to do that is I like to use um, the coconut oil, okay? So make sure it is runny, okay? And I'm gonna use around about 100 mils to start with again, okay? So I've got 100 mils of good quality cooking oil, or coconut oil, and nice and runny. And I've got my shake here, okay? So I'm gonna put in, um, just bear with me a minute. So I'm just going to put in here um, three scoops to start with. One, two, and three. Okay, I'm going to get some high quality um, vanilla essence. So we're going to put about a cap in here. So it's around about a teaspoon. One cap of vanilla essence. And of course, I love my ginger. Uh, on there, like so, it's around about half a teaspoon as much as you like you know i'm all about that 
Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to mix it up. I'm just looking for my actual spoon. So maybe use this one. Okay, so we're going to mix it up. We're going to have it sort of like a runny consistency, but not too runny. Okay. All right. All right. So we might just need a little bit more for the size of this container. So I'm just going to add on a little bit more of the four, 25 mils of coconut oil and another scoop of shake so that's four so as you can see this is actually becoming an, a real meal so you can have a good slice as a meal okay okay good 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 this is looking good okay another 25 mils of oil i never like to over add anything because you can't take it out you can always add in but you can't take out all right so keep it going a little bit more i know the consistency i want Okay, now I'm going to take a little taster to make sure it's the flavour that I'm looking for. Pretty good. A little bit more vanilla. So maybe now one little more, just a drop. Yep. A little bit more ginger. And then what I'm going to do is once it's on, I'm actually going to sprinkle some Himalayan salt on there. Okay, so I've got a really nice consistency going on here. I'll show you here. It's not runny runny, but it is going to go on. It's going to harden, okay? So I'm going to pop this in here. Oh, it's spicy. I like the spiciness of the ginger, okay? So let me see if I can get a... a, a, a um. All right, guys. Okay, so let me get that here. I'm going to put that on like that. Because it's just like being in the kitchen with each other. You know, and that's the beautiful thing about communities is we don't have to be perfect. We just have to be ourselves and, you know, do this together. So I've got that on here. This is going to be good. Ooh. Okay. And now I was just thinking as well, with the, the nut mixture, if you have any, if you're really, really sensitive to any kind of um, dairy protein, um, the personalized protein powder is a vegetarian protein, but it does have some possible traces of uh, dairy in it, or well, whey in it, because it actually comes through some of the same shoots, some of our products. So, if you have if you have any sensitivity levels above sort of one percent, um, just don't use the personalized protein powder. So what I've got is I've got um, Himalayan salt here. Okay, I'm going to sprinkle that on top because it's great for the health, and I love the salty kick of it. You know, it's so delicious. And now I'm going to put it in the freezer. I'm going to let it sit and then we're going to chop it up and we're going to um, try it. Okay. Okay. Hi, guys. So I have got the slice. It has been cut. Check that out. Oh, <laughs> check that out. These are really delicious. Oh, that's fallen off. Look at that. It is absolutely beautiful. So I hope you enjoy that. Now, um, one good piece, probably about a little bit larger than this one, is good for a meal. All right, and um, yeah, I'd love to hear your feedback after you've made it and let me know how you go. Okay, bye.